All right, so your first card, Leo, is abundance. This is in the position of how you're feeling or what you're thinking about. And you guys are thinking about how uh, lack of abundance you have. You're thinking about the fact that you may be thinking about not having enough. You don't have enough. You don't have enough money. You don't have enough abundance. Uh, doesn't have to just be money, but... Um, some of you, this is money, some of it money, it's, it's, or everything. A lot of things have to do with abundance. So, um, whatever abundance is meaning to you, there is some kind of lack and you're thinking about this lack. Um, so you might be thinking about how to build, how to build abundance, how to get abundance. So your mind might be really, really thinking this month about how to obtain it. Because right now you're feeling, uh, you're thinking that you just, you need more. You don't have enough. The next card we have is consciousness. This is in the position of what you're going to be, how you're going to be acting, um, things you're going to be doing possibly. And this is the consciousness card. This is consciousness. Um, so you guys might be in need of becoming consciously aware, consciously attached to your inner self, your third eye, your um connection with your higher self your you know god your angels it's it's like uh you're you're needing intuition you're needing um you're needing answers uh so you might be doing things this month um kind of in the dark or acting in ways that you're confused because it does look like there's some kind of need for a higher level of awareness. So you may be lacking in awareness that also could have to do with this abundance card. Uh, maybe you're just lacking in awareness right now, abun an abundance that maybe you're confused, uh, but money confusion. Um, you're not really sure maybe. All right. The next card we have is harmony. This is in the position of how you're feeling right now in September. So some of you guys might be feeling a lack of harmony. You may be feeling like you're not getting along with others uh, or a partner, a relationship. Maybe you're not getting along in a relationship. There is no harmony. There's no um, balance. There's no um, working together. So it seems like there may be some kind of lack of commitment or lack of harmony when it comes to anything. This doesn't have to be just a love relationship. It could be like uh, it's just a feeling within yourself. You might just be feeling that you aren't in harmony with others around you, people around you or sit or situation around you. And the out, the outcome card is turning in, which goes really well with this consciousness card. Um, but there's a, the, the outcome is there's a need for you, uh, very strong messages, messages here for you, Leo. Um, it's all about your spirituality and it's all about your inner, inner mind because abundance come abundance, for instance, there's a lack of it, right? So if this has to do with money or, um, whatever the abundance is attached to money and, or a lot of things, or just whatever, um, it comes within first, right? We need to feel it within ourselves. And then we, it can manifest towards us. But I do see there's a lack of harmony within your mind and others. And I think that's uh, causing you to feel uh, a little bit um, distant from your consciousness because you're not really feeling strong right now. And then the turning in card is about somebody who's meditating, somebody who's able to connect to their higher self, somebody who's able to really get... Uh, synchronicities messages from their angel and it looks like there's a need for you to meditate this month that's all you have to do because right now i think you're focusing on this lack of harmony lack of a relationship um there's maybe some kind of disconnect in a relationship um that's not going well and it's causing you to have a lack of um abundance within love or within money or within your surroundings uh resources and what the vice here is telling you is to really, it's all about connecting to your inner self. So it's all about connecting to your soul, mind, your body, soul and mind. And it's in, and listen to the messages, get your messages from within yourself. And let's get into your reading here. We have, uh, the queen of wands. She's, um, this is the card that was underneath the deck. This is, uh, 
basically a fire sign as well. It could be you, Leo, or it could be uh, another uh, air sign. I mean, fire sign. It could be an uh, Aries. Um, but this is a female or male, and this is somebody who is very confident and successful. Um, they take action and they do what they need to do to take care of themselves. So this energy is here, whether this be you, Leo, taking action this month, getting out of this like lack of abundance and taking action and, and becoming really, you know, high within your Leo strength, your Leo energy um, and becoming successful. Or this could be somebody coming, somebody coming towards you. Um, let's go ahead and see more information here. All right. So we have the King of Wands in reverse. So this is you, Leo. Uh, this is a lack of um, taking action. There's no action being taken. You might be feeling stubborn or not wanting to move forward or not wanting to take action with something or someone in a, in a situation. Yet we do have the Queen of Wands. So, you know, if this is a, a couple, male or female, there is definitely a disconnect, which would make a lot of sense for this um, lack of harmony here. There's some kind of opposing energies within you and another Leo or fire sign um, or within yourself. There could be this part of you that wants to take action, that's trying to take action, and this other part of you that's stubborn and not taking action. Um, if this is a couple, yeah, somebody wants to is moving forward in their life and they're being very successful and you uh, or the other person is not moving forward and taking action. So let's find out more about this. The next card we have is the Page of Swords. And this is in the position of what's crossing you, what could be a challenge this month, or an obstacle. And yeah, it could be an obstacle because this is the Page of Swords. And this is somebody who's coming forward and giving you uh, gossip, information, facts about something, truth about something. And it may be an obstacle because it might be, it, they may come across negative uh, because you know, this could come across a little bit negative, what they're saying. They may not be saying it uh, correctly if they're repeating something. Um, like gossip, if they're repeating something, it might not come off correctly. But but bottom line is it is truth that's coming in. It is, is, it is factual truth. And you will be getting some clarity and some truth. Um, but it might be hard for you to deal with or handle whatever this is. Um, it may be difficult for you to deal with whatever this communication is or gossip or communication that's coming into you. Even though it brings clarity, it might be a little bit hard for you to deal with, possibly. Um, let's see what else. In your recent past, we have the Six of Wands. So in the recent past, you had some kind of victory here, Leo. My my lovely Leos. You had some kind of victory. Uh, people were Somebody was acknowledging you. Um, you received some kind of glory here. Um, maybe you took it too far. Maybe you kind of got a big head because you did receive some kind of acknowledgement and clarity and victory um, in the past. And maybe your head got too big and, you know, you thought you really, you know, because this is this is all about ha definitely victory and being acknowledged. But it's also the six of wands. We're not at the 10. I mean, we're not at the, you know, not, oh my gosh, I can't believe I said 10. That's not right. Um, but this is still about not fully 100% getting a victory, but it is being acknowledged, right? There's a difference between getting a victory and acknowledgement, but there's a similarity there. Anyway, I was saying for some of you, you might have um, received this acknowledgement, this victory, and now for some reason, you know, there's some kind of disharmony and lack of um, forward movement for you guys. I'm not sure why, but there is definitely some kind of stubbornness, lack of mo lack of uh, somebody. You know, this is somebody who's a little bit controlling as well. Um, like, I don't want to go forward for whatever reason because I'm being stubborn or and that true. Rightfully so. You know, if you're the Leo that doesn't want to move forward and, and there's a true reason that, you you know, then that, that you shouldn't. Um, so the next card we have is the Ten of Swords. All right, Leo, so this is coming in for you right now. There is some kind of uh, defeat here. Um, again, you've had some really good positive in, in the past. The so last month, maybe you had some positive acknowledgement. Maybe people were cheering you on, um, rooting for you. This is kind of like a rooting card for you. Um, 
and maybe you got a big head like, wow, I got, I, I'm going to make it, you know, uh, maybe, maybe something happened here. I, I'm really getting the sense that something happened. I'm going to go ahead and pull some car more cards actually clarifying. So we have the 10 of swords. So something here is, is really coming to an end, a defeat, uh, right here in this month of, of September. And that's most likely it's your drain. Somebody's really drained here. They, uh, really have low energy. They've really reached their limit of, of, bad times. This is a lot of mental, emotional, and, and, and mental, uh, trauma here. A lot of bad things have happened. You've gone through a lot. It's like, you've really, really, uh, somebody's really, really, uh, hit, hit, hit all they can take at this point. Most likely that's why you're feeling this way. Okay. Um, the next card we have is the queen of pentacles. And this is in the position of what it is that you should be focusing on this month, paying attention to, and your advice. And the Queen of Pentacles is a Virgo, uh, Taurus, or Capricorn, male or female. And this person is, um, it doesn't have to be any of those things, but this is the energy. It's the earth energy here. And this earth energy is uh, in reverse. So this is somebody who is lacking in stability a lacking in finance finances as well and lacking in being able to share. Usually the queen of pentacles is such a stable person and they always are able to take care of themselves and they always have enough and they have so much that they can actually give and share to others. But in this case, this, this person is not giving. They're not able to share right now for whatever reason. Um, they're not, they're not, uh, sharing, they're not giving, they're not able, they're not stable either. So this could be somebody in your life, uh, male or female that, uh, you need to, the, the advice here is to work on this, work with this, work with this energy to turn it, to, to try to turn it upright, to get this person to, um, the help that they need. They may need some help or, um, there may need, there may need to be some kind of, um, you may not be getting along with this person either, possibly. But there is some kind of focus on this person. Um, the next card we have is the King of Swords. And this is in the position of what it is that you're wanting right now. What is your striving for this month of September? And it looks like you guys are striving for uh, a logical, a logical mind, facts, um, logic, facts, details, stability in, in, um, in your thoughts so you can communicate. So it looks like, you know, there's somebody, um, uh, maybe this King of Swords is in your life and, uh, you just want this person to, this person also can cut, cut you out of their life. So, um, some of you guys have had this person cut you out of their life or you're cut, you've cut somebody out of their life, but there, there's, there's some kind of need here to, turn something up, turn something upright to get along because these two people are on their negative sides for whatever reason. Um, and you really want clear, honest communication. And right now there, there's some kind of lack of, of communication, but I do see some communication coming in. So there will be something coming in. The next card we have is the seven of uh, cups and reverse. So it looks like this is how you're going to be feeling. Uh, this is how you feel in your situation. It looks like Leo, you're going to be making a decision. Um, maybe things were really confusing before. And the, this, this decision has to do with your emotions. Um, maybe you were emotionally unavailable in the past to make a decision or make a choice. Um, or you had too many options and you were confused. And now it looks like you're make, you're going to make a decision about, about your situation here. Um, and that's really good. You're, you've got some clarity because maybe the, this person here is going to bring you the clarity you need, um, to make, to make a decision that's very emotional, emo an emotional decision. Cause you really want to make the right decision, right? You want to make the decision that makes you most happy. And that's going to be for your highest good. Um, and it's going to bring you the most fulfillment. And so you guys are going to be able to do that this month. And that's probably why you want this, wanted this, wanted this, uh, for the month. You wanted some clarity and it's definitely coming in. It's coming in. You're going to get the facts. You're going to get some truth and it's going to give you this, um, ability to make a decision about something. 
The next card we have is the Wheel of Fortune. And this is the position of what is in your environment, what is surrounding you, um, and the influences. And it looks like there's been some bad luck around you. Uh, bad luck at your work, bad luck in your home, uh, people, places, or things. Um, it looks like things have been going really bad and you're just hope, you know, it could be just people around you or it could be your environment, uh, your home life, your job life. Um, yeah, but there, there's been some kind of lack, uh, some kind of bad luck here in the sense that things have not been going your way. I can see that all over the place. There's a lack of abundance right here. There's a lack of um, harmony within relationships and it's just stems from this. Also, you've had a lack of, of, of clarity. You've had a, a lack of, of ability to use your intuition um, to be able to connect and find the answers within yourself. And so this is the month. It looks like you're going to be making a decision. You're going to be getting some clarity, you know, something, whether this be you, Leo, that has, you know, you're defeated about something, um, you know, you've taken so much, you've gone through so much, um, whether this be you or somebody else, um, you are going to be making a decision because you are going to get some clarity. Um, I'm, I, I think I'm going to have to pull some clarifying cards here. So the next card we have for Leo is the emperor. And this is emperor is in your hopes and fears. And the emperor talks about, um, being the ruler, being the boss, being the, in control, manifesting and being successful and having pretty much a lot of wisdom and knowledge in order to, to, to achieve such high goals and to be able to rule, you know, be the ruler of something, the boss or, you know, self-employment or, you know, this could be a person that, you know, this could be an Aries. Um, it could be a Taurus. It could be, um, somebody that's coming in to, ha to offer you something. Maybe this person has a lot of knowledge to offer you or a job or something that will, you know, this person can be older too as well, male or female. And this is somebody who owns their own business, something like that. I think this person might be coming in, possibly helping you or giving you some information, or you're really hoping just to become that emperor. You're become, you're, you're, you're hoping to become the emperor this month. But this person can really help you if that's the case. If this is a person in your life, this person can really um, help you. The next card we have is the Six of Cups in reverse. So you're having, by the end of this month, uh, there is some kind of um, loss. Something in your, something happened in your, in your uh, past that um you're having bad feelings about right now and maybe that's why you're you know for whatever reason you're having some bad negative feelings about a a a, a past memory a past situation things were not in harmony with each other you were not in harmony with somebody from your past and you're thinking about your past and you're thinking about how it was not good, how it brought a lot of um, dissatisfaction emotionally and things were not working and things were in disharmony. So let's get a, a let's get some um, clarifying cards. So let's get a clarifying card for the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here for our Leo? Why is our Ten of Swords here for Leo? We have the nine of what? Nine of, um, um, I'm sorry. Yeah. One. Yeah. So this is the nine of, of rods. Wands. I always get them. I always say, I've been saying wands lately, but they're rods, whatever you want to call them rods. Um, this is the nine of rods and it is, uh, in reverse. And it's saying that, uh, coupled with this 10 of swords here. So yeah, you're really defeated. You've gone through some major challenges. You've been working your butt off. You've been doing all that you can. And now you're giving up. You're giving up. 
it's too much work. You've been guarded. You've been, um, you don't want to be guarded anymore. You don't want to go through challenges anymore. And unfortunately you're, you're, you're letting go, which is a good thing to let go because once you let go, you're going to start healing and this is going to all turn around for you. But I want to pull another card here. Why is the Ten of Swords here for Leo? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Yeah, unfortunately it has probably to do with money. Um, there's a loss of money here. It could have to do with family money, family business. There is some kind of defeat, um, breakup again, you know, a separation within the family. Um, you've given up hope. You've gone through a lot of challenges to probably make something work. This was a relationship. You were trying to make the relationship work. You were trying to make a relationship work. It's like you wanted a family, um, you wanted a family, you wanted, uh, you know, money. And it's like you worked for it and you went through a lot and now you're defeated because you didn't, something happened here. Cause in the past you did have fit. You did have victory. You did have acknowledgement and it went from acknowledgement to defeat, to giving up, to not being acknowledged really. Uh, so I think this is a relationship that's ended and you've, you've given up on that, uh, on, on, um, you don't want to work at it anymore, or you don't want to go through any, any anymore. Cause you, you, you're, you're really, really defeated right now over this, whatever this is. Please clarify the queen of pentacles. Why is the queen of pentacles here for our Leo? We're going to pull lots of cards for you guys. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for our Leo? Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Why is she here in reverse? The Chariot. The Chariot's here. It could be a camp. There could be a Cancer involved. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, there could be a Cancer involved. Somebody's ready to move forward. Somebody's ready to take action. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? With the Knight of Wands. So it looks, Leo, like you are wanting to move forward. You're ready to move forward or you're wanting to move forward. Okay. Um, Somebody's ready, but, and there's some kind of passion. So I think, so some of you Leos have been coming and going in and out of a, somebody's life, uh, a relationship. You've been coming and going from a relationship and that relationship had to do with a, uh, earth sign. So it could have been a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. Um, you might've been coming and going. Uh, from this person's life, uh, or you're wanting to move forward with this person and they're having a hard time accepting that because, uh, you want to move forward. It looks like a fire sign wants to move forward. Somebody has passion drive. They want to move forward. They want to do something. Um, they're ready. It looks like they've learned a lot and they're confident with this. So, but the queen of, um, uh, pentacles is not really, um, wanting to move forward. So either you want to move forward, Leo, and this person does not. Um, and maybe that's why you have this defeat here, uh, that you're just, you know, this relationship's not, not, not working out. So it could be for some of you, some of you Leos, you're definitely, uh, wanting to, uh, make something work with this, uh, queen of pentacles. All right. So the tower just fell out of the deck and I picked it up. Whoops. Sorry, you guys. I just dropped everything. So the tower just fell out. So I'm going to, I am going to leave this card on the, on the table here. So there might, there might, there might just be, uh, something coming up with you, Leo in, a, a, a you know, 
an, up, an uprise, a surprise, a, a sudden change. Why do we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse? For Leo, why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Leo? Please clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Leo. Okay, Leo, for the Wheel of Fortune, we have in the reverse, we have the Magician, we have the Moon, and we have the King of Pentacles. So that we have an Earth sign here. We have, um, again, it's a male or female Earth sign, um, Virgo, Capricorn, um, or Taurus, very stable person. Uh, we have the moon card, which is about something be revealing itself. And we have the magician. So we have some really positive cards here. So what I'm seeing is um, things are going to be turning around when this something, when you get, when there's, okay, right now, whatever's around you, your environment or whatever the situation is about um, has been going in really bad for you. Um, there's something that you're going to find out. It could have to do with this page of swords, this communication. Once you find this information out, Leo, it's going to bring such clarity to you. Okay. You really need some clarity right now. And so a lot of, uh, a lot of you Leos, I really recommend this month that you really take some time out to meditate, to ground yourself, uh, get a stone, get a crystal, get even one in your backyard. It doesn't matter something that you can hold on to and allow the stone to take away any confusion, any negativity, any thing that's holding you back from, from getting clarity within your mind. So, because right now you are really, you're really needing answers and you're going to, once you do that, you will be, your channel will open and you will be receiving Quite a bit of quite a bit of clarity and i do see that right here i see that there is some kind of clarity that's going to come to you whether that be in meditation through your mind through synchronicities um, and or this person coming in okay i'm going to pull a card for the six of cups why is the six of cups here for leo in reverse why is the six of cups here for leo Yeah, because you're going to get so much clarity, you guys. Um, you're going to get the clarity you need to turn things around. Why right, is the Six of Cups in reverse? Wow. Strength card. So that's, that's you, Leo. That is you. That's our Leo. Um... Why is the Six of Cups in reverse? So you're not really feeling good, Leo, about something in the past. You're not feeling like you were strong. Um, you weren't feeling like you were able to balance yourself and your emotions, and you weren't able to control yourself when it comes to a past situation. And because of it, it turned into a negative situation. Um, there was some kind of lack of, lack of strength um, when you maybe you needed to have strength. And therefore, a situation with somebody from your past uh, did not turn out well. Why else do we have the six of cups here for Leo in reverse? Why is the six of cups here in reverse for Leo? So yeah, Leo, whatever this past sadness is. Oh yeah. Major conflict. What's going on with you guys? All right. Um, we shall continue pulling cards. All day if we have to. <laughs> it looks complicated, but not. Okay, so in your recent, uh, you know, you're, it looks like, you know, it, there was a lot of, uh, it looks like, you know, you're really looking at your life, guys. You really are. You're looking at a relationship or a job or both um, or a home that you lost. You lost a home. You fought for it. You fought. This is a home or a relationship, okay? And now you're looking back at your past, the things that you've lost, um, people you lost, people that you're not getting along with, 
um, lack of abundance, lack of clarity. And you're looking at your a situation from your past where there was conflict and there was just comp it was competition or conflict uh, between you and somebody else, a situation. And you were not, you or them didn't have the strength to, um, to fix this or, you know, um, not, not that we can fix things, but somebody, there was a lack of strength involved in the situation from your, from your past. Okay. 